Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint a super awesome trippy acrylic pour crystal ball. So the very first thing I did was just trace a lid to create the circle, and now I'm drawing the little base or stand for the crystal ball. And now I'm just putting some white paint on the crystal ball so that the canvas texture isn't super prominent. You should probably use gouache for this, but I don't have any gouache, so I just used white paint. I honestly don't know if it helps at all, but that's just what I did for this painting. Now I'm starting on the acrylic pour. The first thing I did was just put blobs of paint in each cup, and now I'm putting the acrylic pour fluid in each of the paint cups and then mixing it all up. Then after that is all mixed up, I will be dropping in some drops of silicone oil and then mixing the silicone oil in there as well. Here is where the video finally gets super fun. So the very first thing I'm doing for the actual acrylic pour process is I'm putting the paint colors into my cup and I knew that the colors would mix up and get kind of muddy. I just didn't realize how muddy it would be. If you do this, I recommend using a few colors that go with each other and not using six different colors that most of them will mix and turn muddy. But honestly, it didn't turn out too bad. I think it's fine. But yeah, just a heads up, be careful what colors you mix together. And even if you mix all of the colors together and it gets a little bit muddy, it should still look super cool. And now I'm flipping the canvas upside down and then putting the cup on there and tapping on it. Now I'm just going to move the canvas around just to get that paint to cover more of the crystal ball circle. So after all of that paint has dried, I'm just going to put that lid back on there and trace around it. In the places where there's quite a bit of paint built up, I'm just kind of scratching the paint, if that makes sense, so that there is a line so that I know where the actual circle is. And then here I'm painting over the overspill in white, but honestly don't even waste your white paint unless you're gonna paint the background white. I wish that I would have just painted the overspill black because that's what color I did the background. And now I'm just painting the base gray. The next paint layer I'm gonna do will be a silver layer, but I don't actually have silver paint, so I'm just going to be using a pearlescent medium that I have that I'm working on a review video for, but I would honestly recommend just using silver paint if you have it or buying silver paint if you're planning on doing these types of paintings frequently, just because having a shiny silver paint adds so much to your painting and it makes it look super awesome and more realistic. And now I'm writing the words on there. I was hoping this was gonna look really cool and I could be like, the future looks bright or something, but I really don't like how, I, like at this point, I didn't really like how the crystal ball turned out. I honestly think it looks fine at this point, but yeah, I was just like, the future looks grim because the crystal ball kind of looks grim. I don't know, it really, it's not that bad. Like there's some areas that are super muddy, but 
I think it looks pretty cool to be honest. But anyways, I just wrote out my words there and they are pretty crooked and off center and everything, but I naturally am just really horrible at doing letters. So I tried to purposefully make them bad in like a stylistic way. I don't know, that's just a life hack for you. If you're really bad at doing words, just try to do them bad on purpose in a specific way, because then I think they actually look pretty cool and it looks like you're bad at them on purpose. I don't know. Anyways, I really like how the letters turned out to be honest. I think it looks pretty neat. The next step is just to go around the crystal ball with some black paint just to create an outline and this honestly just makes it easier to paint the background because after I'm finished painting around the crystal ball, I'm just going to paint the entire background black and then at some point I trace around the letters as well and then paint the background of the letters black too. You'll see what I mean when I get to that portion. But anyways, just paint your background. Of course you can paint your background any color you want and you could even do like a galaxy background that would look super awesome, but I just did black because I thought that that would look really cool just to draw your focus to the crystal ball since that is the main focal point of this painting. Now for the fun part. I just took the back of a paintbrush and dipped it into some neon paint and then made little dots all over the canvas and I used all of my different paint colors. So pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I think it looks pretty cool. Then I just used some Mod Podge to seal it all in. I'm honestly not a big fan of using Mod Podge for this. It's just that this is all I have, but I would recommend using some sort of a spray sealant if you can get your hands on that. But yeah, the last step is to just finish off your painting with whatever final coat that you usually use. And that is it for this painting. I'm kind of proud of this painting. It definitely turned out muddier than I was expecting, but at the same time, I feel like it doesn't look that bad. 
bad. Like it could definitely be better, but it's not total garbage. And I honestly just, I really like this and I really like this concept and idea. If you guys make anything like this, please show it to me on Instagram because I would love to see what you guys make. And also stay tuned for this last little portion here where you will see this painting glowing under my blue LED lights and it looks so cool. And also check out my other acrylic pour neon trippy paintings that I will be making within the next few weeks. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.